Hi guys, Spink here. This is episode 40 of uh, Let's Learn a Geod Civil War 2. 40, <coughs> excuse me, 40. Well, and in honor of episode 40, I have decided to revert back to version 1.04 and stop using the beta patch. Um, these battles where we're having one side or the other getting just completely wiped out um, aren't really sitting well with me. So I am going to try to revert back to this patch and see if it still works. So if it doesn't, um, you're not going to see this video and I'll put 1.05 back on and continue from there. So here's what we're looking at. Okay, last episode. Um, what is that little red bit under there? Last episode, um, we did the movement. We did the orders, rather, for uh, for our forces. We're in late May 1862. And we were ready to do the production. And then we will run the turn. So, let's see what we have to build. Um, I think I was building as I went when I noticed things over here. So I think we've taken care of anything that might be over there. I'm sure we're running behind on uh, things like uh, blockade, um, blockade uh, flotillas and whatnot, but that's the nature of the beast. You know, we're not looking to win as fast as we can here. We're just going through and enjoying ourselves, so. But still, things to make about. And as an aside, if you play the way that I do against another player, you probably won't get to late May 1862. Just saying. Um, let's see. Oh, we had these headquarters support units we needed to build. Who needs these? Let's... Banks has got one already, right? Banks has one. McClellan certainly has one. Does Buell have one? I don't believe Buell has one. Where's yeah. Buell? Where are you at, Buell? Right here. Buell does not have one. So we will build one of these. Um, let's see, where can we build one? Looks like we can build one in Cincinnati. So we'll build one in Cincinnati. Um, Halleck. Or first of all, let's see. Fremont, he's got one. Halleck has one. I think our other army is over here with uh, Ben Butler. Yeah, we made him an army. Because we did. Um, let's see. I could build one in this area to give to Halleck. I don't really want to give this to Halleck is the thing. Uh, I guess we don't have to. We don't have to give this to an army. We can give it to any old stack we want. So maybe we will build this in Cairo here and uh, give it to to be, to uh, Grant and then give the uh, support units that Grant had. Well, Grant doesn't have any support units, does he? Yeah, we'll give that to Grant. Problem solved. Okay. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're still, you know, we got wiped out. We lost an entire core in the east here from the Army of the Potomac. We need to build additional forces there. So let's take a look at our production here. Kentucky, Pennsylvania, one, two, three, four, five, six in Pennsylvania, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in Pennsylvania. But we we were we were needing more anyway. So we're gonna go. We're going to go on an infantry buying spree in in the mid-Atlantic states here. I think we've hit up we've hit up uh, let's let's go with uh, New England here. Let's see if uh, Connecticut and Maine can Vermont can't get us. We got eleven. That's got a conscript in it. That's got two conscripts. Let's do some Maine forces here. Make sure we're actually on a railroad. That looks good. So Portland, Maine. These cost 62 money. 12 war supply. Money's a little tight. 
Hmm, Connecticut, that's just Zouaves. Zouaves, Zouaves, however one chooses to pronounce those. Let's pop back down to New to, to here. Of course, we don't have to produce in New England and, and the Mid-Atlantic States for the, the other army. Let's go to the Old Northwest. We haven't produced a great deal of force there. Michigan, we haven't produced much in the line of Michigan units, have we? They're quite expensive, though. Ohio, Indiana. Northwest? How about Min where's Minnesota? We can do a Minnesota Volunteers, but no Minnesota Infantry. Perhaps we've already produced whatever Minnesota Infantry that we were allowed. Um, <laughs> let's go back to Mid-Atlantic, see if we can find... I'm not really looking to produce units with these conscripts in them, if I can get away with it. These Pennsylvania ones look decent. I don't really like having that many sharpshooters. Um, they were a relatively rare thing. Certainly not part of the uh, doctrine of the day, but uh, let's not worry too much about. Oh, how much? How expensive are they? Fifty-seven. Let's go to these New York guys. We'll, we'll bounce back down to some New York infantry. Seven. We made seven of them. Can we produce any artillery? No, we're too short on guns to do much of anything. Which guns? Too short on money. Um, hmm. Let's go to this. We can do a draft. Um, I think we're doing okay on manpower. It's it's money that's an issue. We can print paper money again. That would give us. Um, our inflation is back down to negative four, so let's go ahead and give. Uh, you know, I did this at one point. It might not have. It might have been during one of the episodes that I uh, that I did not upload, where I was fighting that that crash. Is we had this. Uh, the inflation was negative four, so I went ahead and did the the print the paper money, and that'll just bring our inflation to zero. So I think that's just fine. And while we're at it. Let's increase the rail pool. What's this looking at? That wants to be... Well, let's do this. Let's do that as well and just spend the money that we're going to get. Because right now this uh, we're in the hole. we got no money. So, not going to reduce any of that. None of those. Okay, so we're out of money. Um, let's look at doing the regional decisions. There's not going to be much we're going to be able to do um, just because we don't have any money. Unless we happen to get those sea mines pop up again, which we don't. Um, that's okay. That's fine. Okay, so we're, we're getting ready here to process the late May turn. Late May 1862. Um, next turn will be early June. I don't recall exactly when that... Uh, that 1862 offensive um, was due sometime in June, and I don't recall exactly how much for it said we need to have within two regions of uh, of uh, Richmond. But we'll 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 go with what we've got here. All right, let me save it, and we'll hit it. processing the turn. Two things I've learned as a newbie as a newbie YouTuber uh, to keep in mind should you choose to do such a thing. Keep something on hand to drink and somewhat related use the bathroom before you start recording otherwise the tail end of your uh, of your videos can get a little rushed. Okay what are we looking at? We've seen that once again our cores have failed to activate so standard procedure 
Replacing McClellan is going to be a major, major undertaking at some pa at some point with that uh, with that huge cost it's going to be. But at this point, I can't. Well, losing that entire corps, I suppose, could justify removing the army commander. But I think that was more to a a game glitch than well, not really a glitch, but there's something about that 1.05 patch that seems to have something something's not right with it because. We, we shouldn't be seeing these these entire opposing forces being destroyed and it's happened on both sides we I, we took out some a division or two in other in other regions where we just completely wiped them out so something's not right with that and you know I gotta say though I have not played this enough to say for certainty that that's a 1.05 patch issue in fact I have never played it as long as as long as I have in this particular series here late May 1862 I've never made it this far before in my in my test my test or whatever game whatever I want to call the various games that I've played in the past still have more Indians rampaging around here oh garrison of Fort Cummings has been dispatched by General Carson um, we captured 500 troops. Nice. This is interesting here. What's going to happen if we both sit here on defensive? Columbia Grays has arrived in the, in, yeah, and we just took the, we just took the, uh, all the fleets back in. There's a partisan unit coming up through here through, we're going to have to keep an eye on that guy. He's a, he's going to be a problem. Wonder what's going to happen here with this? Is that's going to provoke a battle? We're still moving quite a bit of forces up through there. Now here's Albert Sidney Johnson, Johnston with a T. Fayetteville, I think we're going to take that. Oh, here goes the assault. I'd like to see a little more troops on on this side. Wiped them all out. Outstanding. Destroyed the Cherokee Cavalry, Fayetteville Militia, Militia Garrison of Fayetteville, and the Fayetteville, oh, Fayetteville Depot. Hopefully that's a depot garrison and not the depot itself, because I'd kind of like to keep that. And our losses were minimal. We crushed them. That's the prisoners taken. Okay, there's a fleet here. Attack! There we go. So we have a Virginia gunboat squadron here, sunk, and a flatboat unit sunk, trying to get past the blockade. Baylor's New Mexico Cavalry. Hmm, presumably that, that began life as over there on the in the in the far west. Walker's force has arrived in Alexandria and is besieging it. Okay. That's a problem. Oh boy. We've also got a problem down there in South uh, South Kentucky. Oh, well, I gotta say that setting that AI to the standard aggressiveness and de and dropping that that activation bonus is giving me a pretty good pretty good thing here. The uh, the AI is being aggressive enough without sending too many major forces off on kamikaze missions. I mean, we're seeing quite a bit of um, irregulars and cavalry and whatnot messing around out here. But I haven't seen, you know, in the past playing, you know, in my various games I've played, I've seen, you know, the Army of the Shenandoah or the Army of the Potomac down here, or Northern Virginia, whichever, you know, at the first opportunity he's heading off into Pennsylvania you know, and getting getting uh, cut off and and and, sh and savaged. Okay, so we have completed the late March. Or excuse me. Yeah, our May, our May, May <laughs> late May, um, 1862 turn. We're gonna go through the. Uh, what do we got? A good sized force here, Army of the Potomac. You know, so they appeared to kind of get their get themselves back arranged here and got all of those additional generals resolved themselves. Um, we're up next to Richmond. You can see what's in here. Eight or fourteen hundred and ninety-one troops. 
or power in uh, in here. That's 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 fairly good sized. Okay, let's go through the uh, let's go through the events. Stocks of steel has been reduced. Of course, we knew that. More rolling stock and river transports. The union has decided to print money, paper money. Confederacy is building new paper mills, paper mills, powder mills in Georgia and Virginia, and the Empire Brigade has been formed in New York. So oh, that's a pretty good unit here. Oh wow, one, two, three, four, all infantry brigade, infantry regiments. That's awesome. So four elite infantry regiments like that. Excuse me. Well, um, we're still besieging Fredericksburg without without doing much else. Fort Cummings we're besieging. Where is that? Oh, it's gone. I wonder how that happened. We have failed to engage the enemy in Gage, Nebraska. Gage, Nebraska, that's here. Um, Where's it? Okay, we have Fort Craig's. After several failed attempts, the Fort Craig force stopped the assault in region Luna, New Mexico. Now, apparently we stopped the assault because the thing we are assaulting is gone. Uh, Confederate States of America succeeded in retreating in front of Ferguson, Kansas. So that's these forces down here. So we'll just start working our way south and clearing those guys out. We captured 200 rifles and 1,200 prisoners here in uh, Fayetteville here, and that is a... Fayetteville, Arkansas is a strategic town. I don't know if it is an objective town. It does not appear to be. We are making 47 victory points a turn now. 63 for the Confederacy, so we're starting to turn things around. Um, we captured 200 rifles and 1,200 prisoners from that. Warden's fleet committed, and we sunk whatever that was. And they retreated for before battle in Kanawha, West Virginia. Oh, oh, what we took? Car we took Charleston. We took Charleston with its depot. That is interesting. And their forces, these two divisions, which I think were a match for us, have uh, failed to... Uh, that is interesting. So the 5th Division, under Bernard B. here, he has a hide value of 4. That's pretty high. Probably because the mountain. Mountain gives a hide bonus. We don't have a great deal of uh, information on these guys, but I'm not seeing, well, we don't see enough force to see whether or not they have, uh, or enough, we're not seeing enough information to tell whether or not they have supply wagons with them or not. That would be awesome if they didn't have supply wagons with them. Okay, so that was the battles. Let's look at the movement. Army of the Tennessee arrived in Montgomery, Tennessee. That's us. So all of these forces are apparently sitting here on a defensive, in a defensive mode. Hmm. We have partisans here. We do not control this. Although we do have, we did, we have take, taken Clarksville. Hmm. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, um, ba-dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. um, Rose Corrans was redeployed. Okay. Soldiers of Pickens Ward have been successfully trained down there. Various forces have been trained. Various brigades have become ready to... The Confederates captured Fort Cobb. The Confederates captured Farnham, Kansas. right here. In Fort Scott, Gallatin. So they've recaptured this. OK, 
captured the harbor, there's a harbor there, while taking Fort Belmont, we took quite a bit of supplies here. Each of these, these forts we took had about 40 supplies in them. We gained control. Um, Fayetteville here, we got 115 supply and 36 crates of ammunition, so I think we pretty much uh, shut down the supply line heading north. Um, we're in good shape here now. We just need to ensure that our... Uh, so there's some sizable forces around us. There's Hardy with a division. And presumably there's more, more stuff coming up. Now we, we basically need to hold this. Um, and we gained control. There was a depot in Kanawha as well. And we captured that. It didn't say we captured any. Oh, Charleston, yeah. We captured 12 supply. So that's pretty good. Liking that. Pioneers are opening a trail. Um, money and supply from there. We captured a flatboat unit. So we'll we'll use that to build some fences or something. Carson has been congratulated. Oh, Nathaniel Lyon has been congratulated and he is promotable to a new rank. So he is promotable to Lieutenant General now. Three star. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it also went through the turn without crashing. That's a plus. Um, we can make... Oh, he's he's no longer a core of, of uh, Fremont's army. Presumably he's out of range, is my guess. Well, no. I don't know if we made him not a... Maybe we never made him a core. I don't remember. If we promote him, it doesn't piss anybody off. Let's promote him. Or well, essentially what we do is we flag him for promotion. We don't, it doesn't actually happen right now. It won't happen until we um, until we do the turn. This unit here is doing just fine. We have um, let's take this cavalry brigade and stick him in with our force right now. That's uh, a 5% penalty to do so. We can't bring Oh, the little the little fl the little flags at the side of the uh, units was part of that 1.05 patch, and we've reverted back to the 04 patch, so we don't get to see those. We have to look over here. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 He said again. Now, if we make fr if we make Lion a core commander, as we should. And he's not he's not halved, so we'll take away that uh, that uh, that halving. And I don't think Fremont sucks. Well, he sucks. Yeah, he sucks. Okay, but we're pretty good. We're holding Fayetteville. I think right now the plan is for Lyon to hold Fayetteville. Um, this force up here to where'd our other guy go? Are they both here? No, we had another unit. What happened to him? Oh, he's way up here. Um, clear this all out and then join join back up here, down here with Lion. Um, Fremont will take care... Well, Polk decided to go elsewhere. So Fremont will, will come back, um, accumulate this unit here, provide a proper guard to uh, this area and then look at coming back down here. Um, yeah, maybe so. What would it take to sack Fremont, I wonder? 92 victory points and three national morale. Well, he's not our, he's not our priority for getting rid of, is he, just yet? Okay, so I think Halleck is probably our biggest problem right now. But I would like to get Grant promoted to a three-star, so that he can command this army here. But he's gotta he's gotta engage in some combat first. Um. Okay. This is going to be interesting. So we're presumably everybody's sitting here on defensive. Is why. Why this didn't didn't happen. Um. We're very evenly matched here. Up. 
we have one division. I might combine these back up. Or actually, judging by what's coming on down here, I think it might behoove us to uh, fall back to Bowling Green. Because there is two divisions, two divisions coming up here. Three divisions. No, two divisions there. There is three divisions here. Pull back at least to Bowling Green. We may need to pull back farther because we are definitely outgunned here. I definitely don't want to leave these guys sitting here where these forces can come in behind us and cut us off. Okay, what's going on out west? East. By west, I mean east. Um, things looking... Hmm. I don't know that we necessarily want to advance. We would possibly advance up here to the Pamunkey if if we can get this out of our, our behind. You know what? We don't need an entire core to, to contain this. So I'm going to take, say, a division. Well, he's only got a division. Doesn't need two divisions. Maybe, maybe reduce by enough force to... Uh, to contain Fredericksburg here, maybe give it to uh, Mansfield. Mansfield was eligible for promotion, if you recall, and let him take care of Fredericksburg, and we'll move up to this river here, perhaps, and maybe, yeah, that might be a thing. Okay, we have, we do have Franklin's core now has shown up down here. That's not too bad. And we are besieging Staunton over here. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, well, um, it's we've got about two minutes left before 30 minutes hits. I think I'm going to put a... Uh, call this... Uh, seems like an opportune place to call this episode to a close. And then we will... Uh, in the next episode, we will uh, do the next turn, do the turn for early June 1862. So I will see you later.